In this lesson, we are actually going to look at rearranging formulas. Now, let's just recall. Formulas is actually an equation where you've got an expression on the left and expression on the right. So take, for example, this equation. It is the area of a circle where a equals to pi r square. And in this case, this one, a area is actually the subject and r square, the r here is actually the variable. So if you are given r, we could actually find a. Now sometimes when a is given, we could reverse the process and rearrange the formula to find r, the radius. So the process of rearranging the formula of a equals to pi r square and changing the subject to r, we start off with a equals to pi r square. Then we divide both sides by pi. Therefore, we eliminate pi from the right hand side. So if we divide both by pi, we have a divided by pi. Pi divided by pi is actually 1. Therefore, we have r square on the right hand side. Now, we take the square root of both sides so that we have r and we have a square root of a over pi. Therefore, we can find r, the radius. r is now the subject of the formula. Now have a look at a few examples. First example is this one. We need to rearrange this formula with m as a subject. So, looking at this, what I would do is, I would like m not to be in the denominator. Therefore, I will multiply the right-hand side by m and the left-hand side by m as well. So, we would have m e equals to b squared over 2m times m. So, I multiply. By m. Alright, in this case, I can eliminate m from the right hand side. We now have me equals to p squared over 2. Next, what I want to do is eliminate e here so that m becomes a subject. Then, what I should do here is divide both sides by e. So if we divide, by e and divide by e we can eliminate e m therefore equals to p square over 2 e all right so this is how i actually have rearranged this e equals to p square over 2 m and make m as a subject right let's have a look at another example t equals to 2 pi square root of l over g and we want l as the subject this case what i would do is first divide both sides by 2 pi t over 2 pi equals to 2 pi square root of l over g over 2 pi in this case what i'm doing is eliminate 2 pi from the right hand side so we have t over 2 pi equals to square root of l over g now what i need to do is to eliminate the square root here by squaring both sides therefore we've got t over 2 pi square equals to l over g now, in order to eliminate g here, what I would do is multiply both sides by g. Therefore, I can eliminate g here. l equals to g t over 2 pi square. Again, I've now rearranging, uh, I've rearranged this equation from t equals to 2 pi square root of l over g 
and make L the subject. So L is G into T over 2 pi, all square. Third example, P equals the square root of H plus C minus A. And we want H to be the subject. First, I would eliminate A from the right hand side by adding an A. So we have A plus P equals the square root of H plus C minus A plus A. So adding A on both sides. In this case, A minus A plus A, that is 0. I therefore now have A plus P equals the square root of H plus C. Right? Let's write it down. Now, in order to eliminate the square root here, what I do is square both sides. By squaring both sides, I actually eliminate the square root. Therefore, we actually have a plus b square equals to h plus c. Now, because we want h to be the subject, we take over c from the right hand side. Therefore, we take over c from the left hand side as well. Uh, my plus c or subtract c therefore that is zero h and we're writing the whole equation is a plus b square minus c four steps to actually change the subject from p to h now i want you to take some time and have a look at this question and see how you would solve this question all right take a few minutes pause the video here and see if you could do it. Right, with this one, what we need to do is actually bring the right hand side uh, with the common denominator. The common denominator is actually UV. So the right hand side now becomes, I'll keep the left hand side as one of F equals to UV. Now, here, because we want it to be UV, this will become V and this is U. All right. Now that we have got UV and U plus V, what we can do is we can rearrange this equation now so that U is the subject. The way I would do this is multiply both sides by F. So in this case, I will actually eliminate f and I have 1 equals to f times v plus u over uv. Next step is to multiply both sides by uv. In this case, I can eliminate the denominator. There's no more uv. And rewriting is uv equals f v plus u. Now, we know that u has to be the subject. So by, remember, your distributive law, we multiply this in, all right? We therefore have uv equals to fv plus fu. This time, I want u, fu and uv on one side. Therefore, I'm taking fu away from the right hand side so we have minus f u here so rewriting f v actually equals u v minus f u now that we know we want u as a subject we can factorize this factorizing f v equals to u v minus f because we're taking the common factor out in order to change u as a subject we divide both sides by v minus f. All right. Therefore, we can eliminate that. Rewriting u, therefore, equals to f v over v minus f. This is how you do it. We start off with 
the formula, just rearranging by taking it into the common denominator and then multiply it by f. Okay, common. So, rewriting it, we've got 1 equals f b plus u over u b. Then multiply by u b to eliminate u b. Once you have that, use your distributive law. In order to obtain this orange, then we take away, subtract, F u from both sides. After we subtract F u from both sides, we rewrite it and we have F b equals to uh, u b minus F u. So factorize. And therefore we take u out and divide by b minus F. And rewriting it, we've got u equals f3 over v minus f. And the final example I want you to look at is think about this. How would you rearrange this so that it s is actually the subject? I'll pause the video for a minute, think about it, and then we can all come back to it in a few minutes. This is a good example because you will need a few of your pre-existing knowledge to actually work this out. What I would do is eliminate C from here. So I'll divide both sides by C. V over C equals to C over C, 1 minus R minus 1 over S. We can eliminate that. That is actually 1. So V over C equals to 1 over R minus 1 over S. This time, I will rewrite this. This is equals to Rs and S minus R, V over C, taking it to the common denominator. So multiply both sides by Rs. Okay. We now have VRs over C equals to, take away that, S minus R. We're getting there. Next step. What we need to do is multiply both sides by C. Again, eliminate that. And what I would do is straight away use the distributive law. So we now have VRS equals to CS minus RC. What we want is the subject to be S. So I take away RC here and I have got um, plus RC here. So take away RC here by adding an RC, I add an RC. All right. Now, what I want also to do is move the VRS here. So what I will do is take away the VRS. So I take away the VRS here. So minus RC plus RC. That is 0, minus VRS plus VRS, that is 0 as well. Therefore, now rewriting it, we have RC equals to CS minus VRS. This time, factorize the right-hand side. We have S, which is the common factor, C minus VR equals RC. And in order to make S the subject, we divide both sides with C minus VR. Okay, divided by C minus VR. Divided by C minus VR. Okay, eliminate that. Therefore, rewriting the whole equation with S as a subject. S therefore equals to RC okay, over C minus VR. All right. So what I've done is actually using various techniques, starting from this, 
the formula where V is a subject and then I slowly by doing some process rearranging the whole equation and S is actually now the subject. Alright, this is the end of the lesson.